Have you ever used the phrase, don't you know who I am? Yes, I use it every single morning when I see my wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I ask what she says in the term? No, I don't know who you are. Please get out of my bedroom. <laughs> She's like the queen. Um, have you ever stolen anything from a hotel? Um, have I ever stolen everything? Yes. I have stolen um, uh, those little electronic connectors. Sometimes when I forget my uh, international converter thing, oh. I have stolen those from hotels. I, was there any, any I readily admit. Was there any comeback? No. Oh, that's nice. You obviously travel large. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when were you last starstruck? When was the last time you met someone famous who kind of, you were like, oh, quite taken uh, aback? Uh, just this past Saturday, uh, I was in Ottawa, Canada, uh, the capital of Canada. Uh, and we we're receiving uh, what's called is, uh, the Governor General's Performing Arts Award. And it was a wonderful uh, event, and there was this gala. And one of the surprise guests that night was Pete Townsend, who had come in to perform with Des McEnough who also won an Arts Award that evening. And after the uh, gig, uh, we were invited to go down to Pete's dressing room and meet him, and I'd never met him. And, and Pete Townsend is one of my real, real heroes. I, I can honestly say I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you if he had not written those great songs for The Who. They just inspired me to want to be the best writer I could be. And so meeting him was, uh, I was a bit awestruck. And uh, he was great, easy to talk to, and, uh, but in the back of my mind I was going, holy crap, I'm meeting <laughs> Pete Townsend. <laughs> Did you get to sign your copy of Live at Leeds? No, I didn't. No. <laughs> Missed that one. No. Uh, have you ever walked out of a gig? Walked out of a gig? Yeah, ever left a gig early? I mean, if you, if you watched a band and thought, mm, I'm off. Uh, no. Uh, uh, oh, another band. Yes, yes. No, I don't think you, you walked off stage halfway oh, okay. through 2112. If I ever walked out of a gig, um, yes. Uh, I went to see a strange double bill. Genesis was opening for Lou Reed. Ooh. Yeah, and it was Genesis' first time in Toronto. And they started with Watcher of the Skies. And uh, they were great. I mean... And then Lou Reed started playing afterwards, and you know, you like Genesis, not so much Lou Reed yeah. at that mm. period. Yeah. You know, nothing against Lou Reed, but it just wasn't an act he could follow. So we left. See, good. Fair enough. You enjoyed Watch of the Skies, Lou. I sure so. did. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, who was the last member of your band to to buy a drink at the bar? The last member. I mean, who would be the who would be the most reluctant member of uh, of Lush to put his hand in his pocket to buy a drink? Oh, none of us. We we're always at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've been out with you. And quite generously so. <laughs> that is true. I can, I can, I can. There's none of our guys have that problem. No, I know. I remember. I remember looking at the wine quite, list. Quite quite the opposite, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a problem. Uh, what's the one thing you'd save if your house was on fire? Uh, my dogs. Yeah, and and and, and <laughs> never mind the wife. Then maybe the family. <laughs> what were the baseballs? Oh, sh they'd be dead. That, 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 they're too many. <laughs> that would that would be a problem. Is there something inanimate that you would you would save? Inanimate? I think they're not a human being or a dog. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I love things. I love collecting things, but they don't mean that much to me. Yeah, you'd let them in the burn. end, I'd let them burn. And uh, this, this answer could go on for hours. Uh, what's your worst fashion faux pas? There are so many, Phil. Oh, I don't know where to begin. Kimonos? Uh, the kimonos were a faux pas, but I think the very worst one was for a while I had this hairdo where I had my hair in a ponytail, yet I had this all puffy. And every time I see it, I want to hurl. <laughs> What year was that, I can't... Uh, that was the year I think Alex was thinking he was going to dress like Simon Le Bon. And he had this kind of oh. groovy new wave hair, and I had this, what looked like a 
raccoon hat <laughs> on my head. Nice. Good that times. Was, it was a bad decision. I think we have a photo of that in the fan pack. Probably. Uh, uh, is there one song that, uh, by, by your band that you kind of wish you'd never recorded? Or didn't come out the way you wanted? Um, there's quite a few, I think. Oh, really? Mm. Could you name, like, one? <laughs> uh, how about Tai Shan? Mm. China spoke to me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Did it often quoted me? by Alex and myself as our least favorite Rush song. Can I ask why, or just... It just seems like an error. Uh, it seems like it was a personal thing for Neil, mm. and it just doesn't work for me in hindsight. We'll be doing that live on the next tour, then. No. <laughs> Those waiting for Taishan can <laughs> we'll be, waiting, we'll be waiting, waiting quite a long time. <laughs> was it the last song on the album, as well? On Hold Your Fire. No, well, obviously not, because you've, you've banished it from your from your mind. Uh, what was the last song you listened to on your iPod or your MP3 player or whatever? What was the last song you, you listened to? Um, the last song I listened to. Do you want to just listen to the other day? No. I think it was Chet Baker, a trumpet album. Uh, where he's not singing. Yes, no, he doesn't. Trumpeter, sing, yeah. not, not much of a singer. Which was it? Well, he had point? kind of an, a cool voice. Yeah. You know. Like Alex. <laughs> Cooler than Alex. <laughs> I do like Chad Baker very much. Yeah. And finally, what, if anything, do you sing in the shower? I never sing in the shower. Do you not? Yeah. Very busy in the shower. I think on that note, we're good. <laughs> <laughs>